Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Skyrim Zimik. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Wednesday, the 20th of May. Strongest cyclone in over a decade slams into India, Bangladesh. Lawyers in Pakistan have ministered Kashmir's struggle due to coronavirus lockdown. And Sri Lanka pays tribute to civil war victims. And now for all the details. The landfall process of powerful cyclone Ampan began between Dika in India's West Bengal province and Hatia Island in Bangladesh on Wednesday afternoon and continued for hours. The intensity of the cyclone near its center was recorded at 160 to 170 kilometers per hour, gusting to 190 kilometers per hour. The storm has forced governments in West Bengal and Odisha provinces of India and Bangladesh to evacuate millions of residents in an operation complicated by the coronavirus pandemic. It is second super cyclone on record that has formed over the Bay of Bengal. Keeping a close watch over the cyclone, Indian authorities have positioned 20 teams in Odisha and 19 teams in West Bengal in coordination with the respective state authorities. Special flights carrying stranded Indians from abroad continue to arrive in parts of India on Wednesday as part of the country's massive evacuation drive amid coronavirus pandemic. India has recorded more than 106,000 coronavirus cases so far. As Indian government continues to bring back Indian nationals stranded in foreign countries, a part of its Vande Bharat mission amid the coronavirus outbreak, an Air India repatriation flight from London landed in southern Vijayawada city with 145 passengers. Apart from immigration checks, screening tests for coronavirus were performed upon arrival and the passengers were only sent to their respective districts once they cleared the tests. Uh, there are so many flights are scheduled to come to Vijayawada starting from uh, today and evening also we got one more flight from Jeddah. It is coming with around 70 to 80 passengers and uh, half of the persons are also going to Hyderabad, 70 to 80 persons are uh, for, meant for Vijayawada and also we have a uh, flight schedule till the weekend. Meanwhile, 165 Indians stranded in Nepal were being brought in a special flight from Nepal's Kathmandu to Indian capital New Delhi, informed Indian Embassy in Kathmandu. India as of Wednesday recorded 106,750 coronavirus cases including 3,303 deaths. The country's recovery rate, however, stood at 39.62%, with 42,298 people having recovered from the pandemic. In news from Pakistan, coronavirus cases tally crossed the 45,000 mark in Pakistan on Wednesday, while 985 deaths have been reported in the country so far. The government, which has eased lockdown restrictions, has said the rise in cases has been lower than projected estimates. The total number of coronavirus cases in Pakistan reached 45,898 on Wednesday, with 1,932 new cases reported in the last 24 hours, while 985 deaths have been reported in the country so far. Authorities, including Prime Minister Imran Khan, have said the rise in cases has been lower than projected estimates. Pakistan's Health Minister Dr. Zafar Mirza during a virtual session of the World Health Assembly in Geneva on Tuesday said his country was taking every possible step to stem the virus threat and called for coordinate, collective and sustained actions by countries and institutions to combat the deadly virus. Pakistan has reported significantly lower numbers than the initial international projections, especially considering that Pakistan is the fifth largest populous developing country of the world. 
Despite these numbers, we are not complacent and are taking every possible step to combat this pandemic. Faced with the prospect of the lockdown causing economic collapse, Pakistan government has allowed retail markets to reopen in a face lifting of a countrywide lockdown. Doctors have criticized the reopening, expressing concern that the virus could quickly spread and overwhelm the health system. Moving on, lawyers in Pakistan administered Kashmir have blamed the authorities of neglecting their demands for aid amid coronavirus lockdown in the illegal occupied region. Lawyers in Pakistan administered Kashmir have blamed the authorities of neglecting their demands for aid amid coronavirus outbreak in the illegally occupied region. Since the courts have been closed for the last two months due to lockdown, Lawyers are suffering in the region without any other source of income. A senior advocate of Supreme Court of Pakistan administered Kashmir said that Raja Farooq Haidar Khan, the Prime Minister of the occupied region, has also not fulfilled his promises to provide medical care to the lawyers. Locals in Pakistan administered Kashmir have blamed they are facing a severe crisis of essential commodities as Islamabad fails to gather to their needs amid the lockdown. Healthcare staff has also expressed concern that the illegally occupied region, which has reported over 130 coronavirus cases, is ill-equipped to deal with the outbreak. COVID-19 pandemic may have deterred physical gatherings, but Sri Lankan government and families of scores of soldiers who died in the final phase of the civil war pay tributes to their loved ones on the 11th anniversary of the end of the conflict. Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksa paid tribute to thousands of soldiers who had sacrificed their lives in a 30-year civil conflict against Tamil Tiger rebels as the country commemorated its 11th year anniversary of war victory on Tuesday. Relatives of the soldiers were also present at the annual event at a war memorial in Sri Lanka's capital Colombo, which was marked low-key this year as the country faces COVID-19 outbreak. The war memorial in Colombo has the names of 28,619 soldiers, policemen and civil security officers who were killed in the conflict. Sri Lanka has been under pressure by international organizations to investigate allegations of human rights violations of civilians, mostly Tamils, during the final weeks of the civil war. Even leaders of powerful countries have emphatically stated that they would not allow any action against their war heroes. As such, in a small country like ours, where our war heroes have sacrificed so much, I will not allow anyone or organization to exert undue pressure on them and harass them. On May 18, 2009, Sri Lanka declared total victory over separatist rebels saying troops had put the Indian Ocean island nation entirely in government hands for the first time since civil war erupted in 1983. Thousands of people were killed in the nearly three decades long war and many of those fled or were forced from their homes in the north and east. The total number of infected in Bangladesh rose to 25,121 on Tuesday after over 1,000 tested positive for COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. Stepping up its efforts to combat the pandemic, tests are being carried on on a large scale across labs in the country. Bangladesh reported 1,251 new COVID-19 cases on Tuesday taking its toll to over 25,000. Senior official of Directorate General of Health Services, Dr. Naseema Sultana, in a press briefing confirmed the total number of positive cases is now 25,121 and death toll stands at 370. 
As the country has stepped up its efforts to combat the pandemic, 8,449 samples were tested in 41 labs across the country in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, a team of medical doctors from Bangladesh have reportedly had astounding success in treating patients suffering from COVID-19 with two commonly used drugs, doxycycline and ivermectin. The doctors are now preparing a scientific paper discussing the effectiveness of the treatment to be published for peer review. Bangladesh is on an extended nationwide lockdown until May 30th to curb the spread of COVID-19. The Nepal cabinet has endorsed a new political map incorporating disputed territories of Limbia Dhura, Lipu Lake and Kalapani as part of Nepali territory. Nepal claims the Indian territories as its own. Prime Minister Oli on Tuesday reiterated Kathmandu's claim on the disputed areas. Nepali Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli on Tuesday reiterated Kathmandu's claim to Limpia Dhura, Lipu Lake and Kalapani as after the government showed the disputed territories in a newly issued political map. While answering a question by the lawmakers in the parliament regarding the issue, Oli said that diplomatic efforts will be made to bring back the territories. Nepal cabinet had endorsed a new political map incorporating disputed territories of Limpia Dhura, Lipu Lake and Kalapani. Nepal claims the Indian territories as its own. India and Nepal share a 1,118-mile open border. The Lipu Lake Pass is claimed by Nepal based on the 1816 Treaty of Sagoli it entered with the British colonial rulers to define its western border with India. Kathmandu also claims the highly strategic areas of Limpia Dhura and Kalapani, although Indian troops have been deployed there since New Delhi fought a war with China in 1962. After a new road was inaugurated on May 8 by India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh connecting the Lipu Lake Pass in Uttarakhand with Kailash Mansarovar route in China, Nepal has protested against it. New Delhi has said the road going through Uttarakhand's Pithoragarh district lies completely within the territory of India. Idol makers, sculptors and artists of India are among the hardest hit due to coronavirus lockdown as a thread loom large over India's grand festivities. With no festivities amid COVID-19, Indian sculptors, artists and renowned idol-making hub Kumar Tuli has been badly hit due to lockdown. India's eastern Kolkata city's renowned idol-making hub Kumar Tuli has been badly hit due to the coronavirus lockdown affecting thousands of idol-makers. Idol-making has come to a halt and those involved in the business are staring at huge losses this year. However, the colossal idols, sometimes going up to 70 to 80 feet, have to be constructed well in advance. The idols are even exported to European and American countries for Bengali communities living there and sent on ships and take at least three months to reach there. With the shutting of global trade and ships movement, along with temporary halt of work due to lockdown in India, artists see the deadlines approaching soon with no progress. क्योंकि लॉकडाउन चल रहा है तो पूरा कारोबार स्तब्ध हो गया है एकदम मटेरियल्स का कोई नहीं है लेबर जो रहते हैं वो सब बड़ी छुट्टी पे भेज दिया गया है तो अभी काम पूरा बंद है इस टाइम पे हम लोगों को यहां पर फुल फ्लेज में काम होता था क्योंकि पूरा स्ट्रक्चर रेडी करके कुछ-कुछ कंप्लीट कुछ करके गोडाउन में उसको शिफ्ट कर दिया जाता था मगर अभी ये सब एकदम बंद है Hindus celebrate Grand Navratri or festival of nine nights worshipping a warrior goddess in the month of October. The festival is celebrated with special fervor in West Bengal province with majestic pandals and huge crowds of devotees. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now, our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash newsline. And follow us on Twitter at S Asia Newsline. 
That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.